It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the New York Jets, and it comes your way next. The bright lights of Broadway just to the east of us, and we are under the lights as well at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it will be the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs, taking on the New York Jets. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and CD, a lot of buzz here in the tri-state area about these Jets in 2023. Do you think that they are ready to challenge the Bills and the Dolphins for supremacy in the AFC East? I certainly do, and for two big reasons. Number one, Aaron Rodgers is in town at quarterback, but number two, their defense, which kept them in every game last year and only got better through the draft this year, they can pair those together. They can compete with anyone in the AFC East and the AFC in total. And meanwhile, for the visiting Chiefs, it's business as usual. They come in as defending Super Bowl champs, and they feature what was the number one scoring offense in the NFL a season ago. The consistency is the key, and it all starts with the head coach and emanates from there. Offensive coordinators have been around the team for a while. They understand how these players operate and what it takes to put them in position to be successful. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. But the Chiefs offense now ready to go to work for the first time, led by Patrick Mahomes, the 2018 NFL Most Valuable Player. There's nothing the league's best quarterback didn't achieve last season. Super Bowl trophy, check. MVP award, check. League leader in yards and touchdowns, check. How does he top the season he had last year? I don't know. But Patrick Mahomes, he usually finds a way. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Sometimes you get all those big guys down there in one spot, and there's just nowhere to go. And in this case, the defensive tackle used his strength and swallowed him up. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Throwing now is Mahomes. Short throw held in by Kelsey. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. C.J. Mosley, the linebacker, making sure his presence is felt. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. And the Jets will take over first and 10. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They're led out by a former number two overall pick in the draft from BYU with Zach Wilson. And we all know the scouting report on him. He can attack the field at all levels with a very strong arm and make big time plays off schedule. We also see a player with confidence and swagger. We see a guy who knows how to lead a team, who knows how to compete, and wants to be great every time he hits the field. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. the play fake. Here's Wilson. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here. As they've got it with a first and ten. From midfield now. Here's Wilson. And he slings one that's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. On second down, Wilson. On the move, pass the 40. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. To throw is Wilson. Over the middle complete. 
It's caught. And he gets it down to the 32. Now Wilson. And he can't escape, and down he goes. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now Wilson. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And it'll be fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And the Chiefs' defense comes up with a stop. Fourth down, and they take to the air, which really isn't a major surprise. But how about the coverage there, able to bat it down? The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now here's Mahomes. And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. Well, there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far, their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. So we've... Well, no sooner do the teams get to the locker rooms, and they're running right back out. Halftime over, third quarter, ready to go. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. After a rare scoreless first half, these teams now just looking for something as the second half gets underway. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. And Charles, a scoreless first half. How does that change how you assess things here moving forward? Well, it doesn't change it a whole lot because, remember, it's still scoreless, which means you're starting from zero again, so you just have one half to play instead of two. What I would look at my play sheet, though, and see is something that maybe loosens things up for my guys, gets a smile on their faces, and gets them going to begin the second half. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll let this go deep for Lazard. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. It's a gain of 35. When you get into the second half of a tied ball game, you start realizing that every play takes on a bigger significance. And this is pretty significant right here. This is where you start putting the pressure on that secondary. And that's a job well done there. Flushed out right. He throws there incomplete. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Again, Wilson. It finds Randall Cobb with a completion. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, now Wilson, eluding the pressure right. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Here's Wilson. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack. And a turnover on downs. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 46. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down.
Here's Pacheco once again. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third corner has come to a play. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. As we are just about set to go here in quarter number four. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Here's the Chiefs punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. And this will be taken at the 13. Called that a 46-yard punt, though they did get nine back on the return. And the Jets will take over. They'll come up first and ten here. Here's Wilson. Flush to his right. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. But he's unable to complete it there and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is it just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Brandon, so many times we see the crossing route start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. Throwing now is Wilson. Rolling to his left. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Here's second down. Now Wilson. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. What can they draw up now? Time to find out on a third and eight. Wilson to throw. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Tyler Conklin in the final minute. And the Jets strike quickly to take the lead here in the fourth. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through. All the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And it's no good. Well, that could be a critical miss here in a one-score game in the fourth. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. On the return, it's Washington. This taken in right around the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here comes Mahomes and the Chiefs. Down 6 nothing. 40 seconds to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. Mahomes will throw. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late-game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw is made. Where's the catch? Got to catch in that spot. Pardon me, they've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now has to think back second to every play of this contest and remember what's worked and what has it, because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Mahomes. And his throw is incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. 
I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his head. I've got to totally command him, make sure all eyes are on him, all focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. This defense looking impenetrable now. Three straight incompletions. They're giving them nowhere to go with the football. Maybe a little frustrated back there. Oh, there's no doubt about it. When you've missed on three straight, there's going to be some frustration. But now he's got to make sure that that frustration is temporary, not lingering. Big throw coming up. It's caught inside the 25. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. Here's first and ten. One final try for Mahomes. And he's got it. And he's into the end zone with no time left on the clock. And they're an extra point away from winning this game. Well, that's the one they had to have. Put them in a position where they're tied up. But I got to get out of the way. We still got an extra point that's pretty crucial. That's right. Just one more element to complete the victory. The kick is good, and can you believe this? They win it with zeros on the clock. Well, this was a game we'll have in the memory banks for a while. The winning touchdown at the end, and then they had to get that extra point. You know, the knees were shaking, but he put it through, and boom, a dramatic victory. And just remember, prior to 2015, that extra point almost felt routine, didn't it? Like it was a fait accompli. But when we moved it back to the 15, well, now the drama interest. kicked in. So, yes, the touchdown, extremely important. Obviously, they had to have it. That was huge. But that was not a gimme, and he knocked it through the post. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This is